Hello and welcome back. In this video, this is the sixth video of the video series in which we are learning how to do the basics or how to you know use AutoCAD in a most basic way or at least in a way uh, in which we can do some basic work in the industry or we can say up to an extent where we can do complete work in the industry. Now, in this session of AutoCAD, it will be the last fundamental session of AutoCAD in which we'll be learning the basic drawing tool. Now, if you have remember, if you remember, we have already completed few drawing tools, okay, like line, circle, etc. Okay, and now we have already done enough practice also, how, like, like how to use line, how to use circle, etc. In today's session, okay, in today's session, we'll be learning two different commands. Okay, we'll be learning two different commands. One is polygon, and second one is rectangle. I'll be only teaching the part of the command which is very important or which is very useful or technically which is practically used. Okay, I'll be not going into the part of the command which is not really very useful in the industry. Okay, this is all based on my experience. I have done a lot of projects in AutoCAD and I am using AutoCAD from, uh, you can say, almost a decade now. So I'll be, I'm using AutoCAD for training, for projects and for various other purposes and mechanical, civil, etc. Uh, in different streams. So that is the reason, okay, I'm defining you, I'm creating this particular syllabus in a particular way in which you can do almost all the designs which is required in the software itself. Now for Polygon, the command will be POL enter. And for Rectangle, the command will be REC enter. So both are fairly simple command. Uh, that is the reason I'm taking two commands in a single lecture. Okay, so up till now we have completed five videos from the video series in which the first video was really the basic setup of AutoCAD so that you can use AutoCAD like the way I am using it. Second lecture was all about creating lines. Third lecture was all about, you know, uh, there were some assignments given in the second lecture about how to create lines, how to create some diagrams with the help of line. So third lecture is totally the clarity on the assignments, like how exactly those things will be completed, the solution of the assignment. Then fourth lecture was of circle, like how to create circle and five different methods of creating circle. And the fifth lecture, I have given some assignment on the fourth lecture. Fifth lecture was follow up of the fourth lecture in which I'm completing all the assignments of the circle, which is already live now. And likewise, we are going to cre create almost 28 videos. So if you have, if you haven't seen, you know, if you're landing on this video, if you haven't seen previous videos, I would recommend you can go ahead and check those videos as well. Okay, it will not take much of your time and you know by gradually spending some time in a day you will be able to completely learn AutoCAD in a prop in the best way possible. Okay, so here we are, what we're going to now start is with polygon command and rectangle command. So first let us start with the polygon command that is pure enter. Now in polygon command we have three methods to create a polygon. Okay, one is inscribed in circle. Okay, second is circumscribed. Okay, and next one is edge. So I'll be explaining you where exactly we can use all the three methods. And polygon command is fairly simple. Now for inscribed and circumscribed method, it is good if we create a circle first. Okay, so if you are learning polygon command, technically if you know circle command, it will be much easier for you to learn polygon command. So here I'm creating a circle. For creating a circle, I hope you remember the command was C enter. Okay, and here I'm specifying the center point of the circle anywhere on the graphics area. Now it is asking me for the radius. I'm defining the radius as 25 and technically my one circle is ready, which is of radius 25. Similarly, I'm creating one more circle here on the right side, which is again of radius 25. And you might have looked what I have did here. So I'm going for circle C enter. I want to create a circle in the same line here. Okay, so what I can technically do is I can go to the center point and go towards the right. And this line is known as tracking line. This will help me to guide my center on this line somewhere on the right side of the circle. So here I'm creating a circle now again of radius 25. Okay. So now I'm entering the command called polygon. Okay. So I'll just zoom into the commands prompt area so that you can see what exactly is going on with polygon command. So here I'm writing POL enter that is polygon. Now in polygon, it is asking me to enter number of sides. Okay, it is asking me to enter number of sites. Now, what I want you to do is in the comment section below, answer what can be the minimum number of sites a polygon can have and what can be a maximum number of sites polygon, polygon can have. Okay, and if you know the explanation for that, even that I would appreciate. And we will discuss about the same in the next solution video in which I'll be explaining you about more in detail about polygon as well. Okay, so here it is asking me to enter number of sites. I'm simply entering five. 
that is the number of side I want and I'm pressing enter. Now it is asking me to specify where exactly the center of the polygon is going to lie. Now, what I want in this case, my center of the polygon should be inside this uh, or should be on the center of the circle. So here it is asking me to specify the center of the polygon. I'm clicking here at the center of the circle. So technically the center of the circle is the center of my polygon. Now here the software is asking me or uh, allowing me to choose between two options. Enter an option. Do you want a polygon inscribed in the circle or do you want a polygon cir circumscribed about the circle? So if you want it inscribed, you can type I. If you want it circ circumscribed, you can type C. So here for inscribed, I'm typing I. Okay, as you can see here. Again, if you remember, uh, it doesn't really matter if you type in uppercase or lowercase. Okay, now after pressing I enter, then it will ask you what is the radius of the circle. So the radius of the circle is 25. So now you can see there is a polygon created which is inside the circle with a radius of 25. So this is how you can create a simple polygon like this. Let us try again to create a polygon with circumscribed option. Now, if you are confident enough, you can also give a try. You can pause this video here and give a try or otherwise you can continue on the screen. So POL enter polygon. Again, it will ask me for entering the number of side. Let's choose a different number now. Let's say seven. Okay. Now specifying the center of the polygon exactly in the same location where the center of the circle is. Now it is asking me to choose between whether I want my polygon to be inscribed in the circle or circumscribed about the circle. So here I'm this time typing C enter that is for circumscribed. Okay. We are in the polygon command that why C enter is for circumscribed without any command C enter is for circle. Okay. And if we are inside line command C is for close. So that totally depends upon which command we are into. Okay. And that is not very difficult to understand. Once you start practicing, once you start following, it will be very easy for you to understand all the concepts and everything what is happening with AutoCAD. Now here I'll press C enter. Now again, it is asking me for the radius. I'm defining the same radius value of 25. And here again, I have a polygon with a radius value of 25. We can say circumscribed about the circle. Okay. But this time with the seven sides. Now in both of these cases, okay. In both of these cases, we cannot control the length of each side. Okay. We cannot control how big the polygon sides would be or how small the polygon sides would be. Okay. So if I want to create a polygon with a length, a specific length for a side, then I have to use the third method, which is known as edge method. So if you remember the third method, which is known as edge method, because that is not dependent on a circle or technically a radius value. Okay. Now polygon POL enter. Let's say I want to create a polygon with six sides. So here I'm entering this time side number of side to be six. Okay. Enter. Now it is asking me either to specify the center of the polygon, which I don't want to do this time. I want to define the edge. So I'll go for E for edge. Now it is asking me for the start point. So I'm defining it here. Now, if my ortho is off, okay. If my ortho is off, you have to type at the rate value, whatever value you want to type. Okay. This will be removed. Uh, this will be renamed with value at the rate value, then angle of zero or whatever angle you want to type. Now, if your ortho is on, okay. If your ortho is on for uh, activating ortho, you remember F8 is a key short key. So I'm pressing F8. And now if my ortho is on, I can type 25 directly and I will get a polygon with a size of 25. Okay. With a side length of 25. So here I'm, what I'm getting here is a polygon with a side length of exact 25. So if you want to create a polygon with a proper side length, in that case, you can use the edge method. And this was all about polygons. Okay. For this video. Now the next command, which we are going to discuss is known as rectangle command. Okay. The next command, which we are going to discuss is known as rectangle command. There are multiple methods of creating rectangle, but I'm going to only teach you the one which are very important and which are very useful to know. One is corner method and second is dimension method. Okay. So these are the two methods which are very important for creating a rectangle. Okay. For polygon, we have learned technically the entire command, but for polygon, these are the two very important method, which is very important of, for creating a rectangle. Now for creating a rectangle, the command is REC enter. For creating a rectangle, the command is REC enter. Now, as I press REC enter, it is asking me for the first corner point and I'm defining the first corner point. Let's say randomly somewhere over here. Now it is asking me for the other corner point. So I'm defining the other corner point here. Now by doing this, I'm creating a polygon, but the only difference here is I have not defined any length or any width for the polygon. Now, please note one very important thing in in this particular software in AutoCAD, length is along the x axis and width is along the y axis. 
Okay, length is along the x-axis and width is along the y-axis. So many people think length is the longer value, width is the shorter value. That is not the case. Length is the horizontal value and width is the vertical value. Okay, so let's say I want to create a rectangle of uh, let's say 50 by 30. So what I can do is I can type REC enter. Okay, now this time I'm, I want to create a rectangle without the corner method. So any which ways I have to specify from where the rectangle is going to start. Again, I'm taking the help of tracking and specifying this is a point from where my rectangle should start. Now it is asking me either to specify other corner point, okay, like the way I did in the previous example, or else I can do any of these three things. I can define the area of the rectangle, I can define the dimension of my rectangle or any rotation angle for my rectangle. So I want to define the dimension for my rectangle. So I'll define D for dimension. Now whatever I have not explained will come in future. Okay, so don't worry about it. So if I press D, that is for dimension, enter. Now it is asking me for the length and the length will be along the x-axis. So I'm here, I'm typing 50 as my length. Now, is, now it is asking me for my width and the width will be along my y-axis. So here I'm typing 30 as my width. Now once I have defined length and width, now a rectangle is getting created. Now I have started rectangle from this corner point. So rectangle can be placed here, here, here or here. So now I have to define where I want to place my rectangle from the point where I have started. Because now my rectangle is of size 50 by 30, but I need to place it somewhere. Okay, so to place it, you just simply need to click. Okay, once you click, your rectangle will be placed. Okay, so these are the two methods using which you can create rectangles. Okay, the first one was corner method, which was not technically uh, defining proper size of the rectangle. It was more about defining the corner points of the rectangle. That is how it is normally used. And the second method, which is the most used one, that is the dimension method rectangle. So I hope you guys understood how to use polygon command and rectangle command perfectly. Okay. Now I'll give you some assignment and this time the assignment will be a little difficult than what you have done so far. Now in today's assignment, the first thing what you're going to do is you're going to create an object like this. Okay. The first one is this one. You can take a screenshot of the diagram now. Okay. This is the one which you are going to create. This is the first one. Okay. Second, you're going to create a rectangle with corner method, uh, sorry, with dimension method of 75 by 30. Then you're going to try creating a rectangle of 30 by 60. So two rectangles you have to create with a dimension respectively of 75 by 30 and 30 by 60. Then you also have to create a polygon, okay, which is inscribed inside the circle and the circle diameter is 50. And again, you have to create a polygon which is circumscribed about the, about the circle again with a circle diameter of 50 okay and in both the cases you can count the number of sides the number of sides is set to 6 okay you might face a little difficulty in creating or getting this exact similar shape because as you can see uh, please take a screenshot and make sure you compare your diagram with the one what i am showing you okay because which is very important okay it is not going to be the default output what you get you might have to tweak it a little bit which i'll explain in the solution video as well Third thing, you have to create a polygon with the side length of 25. Okay, you have to create a polygon with the side length of 25. So for this, you can use edge method. For this, you can use, uh, for both of these, you can use inscribed in the circle and circumscribed about the circle options. Okay, for this, you can use dimension method of the rectangle. And for this diagram, you are free to choose any method you want to. Okay, you are free to choose any method you want to. You can use ortho, you can use polar, anything you want. I just want this diagram to be achieved. Okay, so all the best. Okay, wish you a very good luck and try to complete both of this diagram as and when possible and then continue with the next video. Okay, thank you very much.